Good evening to you. You've seen men and women on street corners holding signs saying they're disabled or homeless veterans in need. In 2015, the U.S. Veterans Department Affairs, I should say Department of Veterans Affairs, reported 4 million of them receiving veteran disability checks and hundreds of thousands getting pensions and benefits. But as one Sepulpa veteran showed to Works For You reporter Ashley Holt, the difference between a decent home and homelessness can be one paycheck. Ashley? Karen and Brian, a couple of weeks ago, I got this letter without a name on the envelope, but a title, a soon to be homeless disabled veteran. In it, one man says reaching out to us for help is his last hope. I have watched two news for years and seen the way they help people. William Crossland proudly wears the letters USA across his chest. I don't have a computer or an internet or an email. That's why I wrote on down on paper. But his service in the 70s left him disabled, and 40 years later, his home crumbling at its core. I hate asking people for anything, you know, if I can't do it myself, but sometimes. His confidence cracked when he found an eviction notice on his door a few weeks ago. You have 48 hours to correct marked items or eviction will be issued. He lost his job two years ago and now lives off of his wife's disability checks. So to try and keep his home, he spent money he didn't have, making blanket repairs. You see the top is gone too. He says no one told him about the benefits veterans were eligible for, but he's called every organization imaginable. What can we do for you? What is it you need? <laughs> Except one. If it's a situation where uh, he can't pay his rent or house payment, uh, we can usually help him with that. With Tulsa's American Legion Post One says people walk through its doors with similar stories daily. And if they have the money to give, they give it. But if they don't, they find the person who does. I just always thought I'd be able to take care of my own. Crossland says finding a stable place to live is a priority. But more than anything, he wants to give his daughter a better life. Someday I'll have enough money to take you to McDonald's. I'm sorry, that's hard, <laughs> hard to say. But his pride for his country still waves in front of the house he knows he may lose. I'm hoping my letter finds you before we get evicted. While he prays the home of the brave can find a stable home for him. Now we did connect Crossland with the American Legion. He said he'd call them and promised me he'd keep us updated on what happens. Ashley Holt, two works for you. Thank you, Ashley. Tonight, there is a sigh of relief. Tulsa police.